All right, so uh, we went ahead and, and, and talked about inverse quadratic interpolation. It uses three points as opposed to the two points of the secant method, so it converges very quickly oftentimes. And now we're ready to talk about, here, give away the secret. Now we're ready to talk about Brent's method. Okay, Brent's method is a hybrid method because as we went through and talked about the pros and cons of each method, you can, we can open this up here. As we talked about the pros and cons of, of, of each method, um, you can see that, man, some, you, you just can't get rid of one all the way and, and, and just go with another. There's no one method that rules them all, so to speak, right? It, it doesn't work that way. So, um, but what we can do is just switch. And so that's exactly what Brent's method is. Brent's method is a hybrid method, and what it does is it takes the secant method and the inverse qu uh, quadratic interpolation as a second method. It uses these two methods when, uh, when it, it um, to, to move quickly, uh, but when they fail to, to try to leverage the, the uh, advantages of an open method, it uses these these two methods to to move quickly but then when it sees there's problems it, it you detect that there's problems then you switch over to uh, bisection method um, as a trusty bracketing method that will not diverge and so uh, this method then switches back and forth uh, between uh, the different uh, these three the secant method inverse quadratic interpolation and bisection uh, so that it, you can get uh, convergence more quickly. And the book has a nice little, I'll just point you to it, uh, the book has a nice little graphic on the the rate of, con the speed of convergence of all the different algorithms. And you can find that on page uh, 158 of the book. Uh, it's figure 6.9 6 and maybe I'll just copy it in here. Uh, it shows uh, the speed of convergence of the different methods. Uh, here, let's. All right. Instead of just teasing you about the about the figure, I'll actually show it to you. Okay. So here it is. So this is just showing the the relative error and how quickly the the relative error decreases with iterations. So we see the bisection method is is a little bit uh, is a little bit slow. Um, it, it's just the lowest. Uh, we get false position coming in second, secant coming in third, and then Newton Raphson coming in uh, coming in first. So uh, at least of, of those four methods. So this gives you an idea. And then what, since we can combine the rel uh, the other plot that we're not showing you is is the reliability and the tendency to diverge and these other problems that can happen, right? Which you could also make a chart of that. And so the Brent's method pretty much captures the fast convergence. Uh, that you see here, similar to the newton raphson method, it ca captures that fast convergence because uh, it, it, it uses the secant method and then the um, inverse quadratic interpolation, so it can converge very quickly, but then still doesn't have the divergence problems. So there you go. That's that's sort of our recap of all the different methods, and that's really all we need to know. I mean, about about Brent's method is 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 how it works. You just you know you just uh, combine all three. And I guess I guess we can make one more comment here. Um, since Breth, Brent's method is so great, um, that's actually basically what they've rolled into MATLAB. So if we turn up here, oh yeah, see I already have it there. If we come here to MATLAB, uh, they have this function, and their function for finding the roots is called F0. Okay, F0. And uh, if we want to see, we can go doc. Uh, well, we can just go help F0, and this shows us. Uh, the help for F0, how it works, but basically just tells us, let's zoom up, okay, single variable, nonlinear, uh, zero findings. We can find the zeros of a function, and if we go doc F0, it pulls up the documentation for MATLAB, and actually if you go through there, uh, you sc uh, scroll down to the bottom here, uh, you see that they're referencing Brent and also uh, Forsyth, Malcolm, and Moeller. Uh, these guys just, I think it was Moeller, he coded it up, uh, but it was Brent's method that he, he used. So so really in, in MATLAB F0, they're, they're just using Brent's method uh, for their F0 function. Because 
Uh, and so now you know uh, uh, basically the internals of, of MATLAB's own root finding method because we've learned about all these different methods the seek it method, um, inverse quadratic interpolation and uh, bisection which which make up the guts of Brent's method so uh, perhaps if you popped a function open here you could you could actually understand it and in fact on page 163 of the book they give a, a pseudocode uh, algorithm of, of Brent's method so uh, there you go